is time to put some more braces on the top. But first, I wanna do a little bit of shaping of the X brace, because it's a lot easier to do it at this stage before all the, the side braces go on and restrict our access to the X braces. Um, I'm a little bit reluctant to do this because I want, when all the braces are on, I want to do experiments to see how the shaping of the individual braces affects the different resonances, uh, the monopole, the cross dipole, the long dipole, etc. Um, but we're not really affecting that much at this stage because the stiffness will be largely unaffected. It will be reduced a little bit. We're going to be keeping the braces the same height. We're not going to put any scallops in. We're not going to put the uh, dips at the end or anything at this stage. Um, we're going to be mainly reducing weight, which of course does affect the frequencies. A reduction in weight takes the frequency up. Imagine a, a large heavy weight on the end of a spring bouncing up and down and then a small little weight sort of vibrating. Uh, less weight, higher frequency. Um, the, the stiffness will come down a little bit, but not too much because the height of the braces will be uh, maintained and the, the height really is what gives us the, the stiffness. Um, so let's get the chisels and planes out. First stage is to get rid of these steps uh, make everything continuous. So we're just going to shave a little bit off the end. We'll put the, uh, the taper in later. I just want to get rid of the uh, <laughs> And I shut up as soon as I start concentrating. I think I actually need a slightly shallower angle. Uh, I, I glued these braces, uh, um, braces, these these top sections in a while ago. I think I used super glue. Um, I'm, I'm kind of regretting that. I can hear a sort of crunching sound as I cross the super glue line. Um, I probably should have used wood glue. I, I think I was in a hurry just to cap the thing off. Um, Uh, yeah, that's uh, rinse and repeat.
I will be refining this later. Nielsen 100. I don't know how successful this will be. I might have to do most of this with a chisel, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Oh, I can get in fairly close. Yeah, I'm not being very even with this, and I'm starting to get um, into the grain, um, which I can correct by going that way. But um, I'm not taking much up off this off this end, but I'll keep going. I can get most of the initial shaping done with the plane. <laughs> Prefer to be working right-handed. I've got the profile I want down here, but I, it's no way. I, there's hardly anything being taken off up here. So, uh, as nice as it is to use a plane, this is going to have to be chiselled. Yeah, <laughs> quite a blunt instrument this one. The uh, safe edge is proving useful. I've got the uh, the edges ground down so that I can't dig in. As you can see, I've got a piece of paper here just in case. Yeah, not, not the smoothest of finishes, but it's uh, it's getting the job done. in too much when I'm pairing. is actually quite effective at getting the initial shaping but you just can't approach the center of the X too much and my oh, I need to clamp this uh, dish down I'm going to put this cross brace on first so we can do some shaping on before the other braces go on. So just got to 
put a radius on it. You've seen this all before um, in the radius dish. Mark a quick line. That's just to get the, the initial shape and then we'll sand the final shape into it using the radius dish. Pencil to give us an indication of where we're taking material away. I've got to try and avoid rolling. I've got to keep it square to give myself a good gluing surface. Hold this in place while I mark its position with masking tape before gluing. There will be squeeze out, but hopefully not much. Just going to push it forward very slightly where it was before. I've I've cut these to very close tolerances, and uh, I can't afford to have it a millimetre that way uh, or this way. That's about right. over a little bit. Oops. I'm not going to wait for the glue to gel, I'm going to clean it up now. Clearly I don't want to get the sandboard wet. But I think it looks good. Somebody mentioned humidity in a previous video. 54% um, which is perfect. Um, I'll try and keep the temperature at around that for a few hours and then I'll take it back indoors. I'm not going to leave this overnight and let the temperature drop. Let's do a little bit more shaping before we glue the rest of the braces on. <laughs> I bent my nail then, but nothing more, just in case you think I just stabbed myself. I, I'm trying to keep pressure from the other side. I don't want to be forcing against the brace, particularly as the brace gets thinner. I've never been that impressed with this little thumbnail, but thumbnail, thumb plane, but it, it is doing some good. Probably enough for now. I 
I'm actually working blind here just so that you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah I think we're there. <laughs> so she's doing some more planing. combination of these two works quite well actually. This just sort of gets the end bit out of the way, the curved bit, and then that enables the uh, miniature plane to work for a, a greater distance before it's forced out. I'll do some more shaping later once I've got all the braces on. By the magic of editing you've been brought back to the previous afternoon where we're just going to put the, the radius in the final braces and having done one brace already I'm just going to eyeball this. Just take some initial material off by hand with play. Next thing to do is get these all mitered. There's all, all different angles on the ends of these. Uh, those are parallel. These aren't quite parallel, but there's only a fraction of a degree between them. Uh, these aren't quite parallel. I don't know whether they were intended to be, but I'm just going to go as I've got it marked on my template, and I'm going to use my disc sander to mitre the angles onto the end and then try a fit. And yes, I'm gluing the ends to the other braces.
Well, this is starting to look a little bit more like a guitar. Um, I've got to leave this now for uh, um, a few hours uh, overnight. It's had about three hours. Um, it's starting to get a bit cold in this conservatory. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, do join me in uh, the next video and uh, we'll continue the adventure. Bye.